For those of you who know me well, they know my love for a bowl of rice and some dal and the legendary status that this dish has in India made me think, let's make dal makhani. Dal makhani, a very popular dish. Everyone who I know in Australia loves this particular dish. Now, I used to be confused at one point of time between dal makhani and maki dal. The major difference that I'm told is that dal makhani, which we are trying to make, has kidney beans in it, or as we call it in Hindi, rajma. Whereas maki dal is predominantly black dal. Now, dal in Hindi is lentils. And in this case, we are using black ram or uh, urad dal, whole urad dal. If you use the whole thing, uh, the whole urad dal, it takes longer to cook. It takes longer to, uh, to basically become that beautiful buttery texture. So one of the hacks that you must use is use split ones. They do the trick. It is a bit of a cheating, I know, but hey, we're trying to do simple cooking here. So about a cup of dal or urad dal, uh, and about half a cup of rajma. These are like uh, Jammu rajma. There's a region in uh, North India, it's called Jammu. And these kidney beans, they come from there. They're short, very starchy. I've got about a cup of uh, whole urad dal, split, and a cup, uh, half a cup or one fourth of a cup, depends on how much you need, of kidney beans soaking overnight. And the color of the water will turn brackish. It'll seem fermenty. In order to cut the time of the recipe, I've already cooked it. Just make sure after you soak it overnight that you're cooking it for about an hour in a pressure cooker, uh, if you're using an electric one, or just about five to six whistles on a low flame in a traditional pressure cooker. So I've got some mustard oil going, and into that, I'm gonna put half of my whole spices. Uh, the reason I do half is because we're going to use the rest when we temper the entire dish. In go the aromats, some freshly chopped ginger, garlic. I will just let the oil get infused in those flavors. Drop in the onions. This dish in North India is an icon. I rarely know of any of my North Indian friends who don't go out to eat and don't order this dish. I think it's the Bukhara restaurant uh, that made dal makhani and into a popular dish and you know, they would just cook it on their tandoor overnight, infusing all those wonderful flavors into it. And then the next day, when the guests were ready to order, uh, they just put fresh tarka on it and, and just take it to them. So this is a dish that's labor of love. But above all, it's a masterpiece in slow cooking. Key to making this dish is addition of all the wonderful fat, the ghee in stages, a little bit of cream. And I like to add ghee in different stages. So here, I'm just gonna add a tiny amount, the caramelly aroma of ghee as it fries the onions is so heady. It is so pure. It is so nostalgic. Reminds me of my kitchens in India, cooking alongside mom, uh, who always used to tell me, oh, be a little austere in using that ghee. But I was like, nope. All of the ghee is right here now. <laughs> We're gonna brown it a little. And as it's going through, do you have any wonderful memories with your family eating this dish in a restaurant? No matter where you are from, Tell me in the comments. And if you haven't had this dish, hey, let me know as well. I'm pretty sure there are so many of us, there are a lot of people watching right now who are gonna tell you which is the best place to have dal makhani in India. By the way, what is yours? All right, onions are a touch golden. In go the tomatoes. A good dose of salt. Seasoning a dish in stages is essential. 
if you dump all of that salt at one point of time, it is quite unsavory and you may not like it. And when you season it in stages, you'll actually see those flavors develop gradually, an experience that I'm sure you're gonna enjoy. One of the things that I love in my dal makhni is a bit of kasuri methi. We'll put half, more than half of it in now. And the reason my dal makhni checks all the boxes are because of my special the spice angel masalas. So my garam masala is traditional Kashmiri masala and we have my traditional Kashmiri red chili. And because we don't use any preservatives or chemicals, you get the real essence of the spice here. In go the spices with some masafetida and some coriander powder. And we'll just mix everything in nice and easy. Oh, look at that beautiful, gorgeous color. Some more salt at this stage. And boy, that smells exquisite. If you'd love to support me, all you have to do is press that bell icon. We do these videos with a lot of passion. Most of these recipes are traditional Indian recipes. So subscribe and let us know how much you love us. In goes the cooked dal. You've got to realize while we'd soaked and cooked this dal, there was absolutely no salt in it. Now there's a bit of a conflicting opinion. There is a group which feels that if you add salt to a dal while it's cooking, it hardens the external shell. And then there's one which says if you add salt to dal while cooking, it softens it. I belong to the former. I think that it does harden it a bit. But if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments. Mix in the beautiful dal with all those gorgeous, gorgeous flavors. The colors in here are spectacular. It looks like a party in the pan at the moment. Very soon, it's gonna be a party in our mouth. I'll just add in some more kasuri methi or dried fenugreek and we'll let it come to a gentle boil. The flavors are all mixed in. This is the time you just reduce the flame, put it on a really, really gentle low flame. We'll put the lid on top. I'll gently let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. The dal is cooked, but it needs to come together. So as it's cooking, you go down the description, have a look at what we have done because we are ready to reveal right now. Wow. This dal will thicken as you cook it. The flavors will gradually build. Time to check for some salt. Hmm. Definitely could use some more. In goes some luscious, luscious thick cream. Not much, just about one fourth of a cup. And you'll see the moment the cream touches the dal, it transforms into this muddy-like color, which at times may seem a little intriguing, but for those of us who've been eating it for a while, that is the color of deliciousness. Bringing spice and flavor onto this dal is a delicate process. Whatever you do, don't be tempted into amping up that heat and destroying the dal because it will get stuck to the bottom. Use a thick bottom pan and once you can see that the dal is nice and viscous, help yourself to some ghee. The dal is done, but we are not done. The final stage of making this dal is in tarka, or what we call in English, tempering. That's the word, tempering. We're gonna temper some spices in ghee, Finish the dal off, add some coriander, and we're ready to eat.